So right out of college, I'm 24 years old, 23 years old, that, that window, and Oprah comes out with this DVD collection. 20, 20 years of the Oprah Winfrey Show. It's about six DVDs. Anybody's watched that? I don't know. You have it? I own it. You own it? I mean, listen, this thing changed my life. Changed my life. So Oprah's going all this behind the scenes stuff and she's talking through her shows and her thought process and who she is. So she starts sharing strategies. She says she journals. Let me start journaling. She says she reads about Gary Zukov and Seat of the Soul. I'm going to read that book too. Everything Oprah's going to do, I'm going to do it too. Because I learned that Oprah said when she was a little girl, she was sexually abused. That's the first person I'd ever heard say that. Because where I'm from, you don't talk about sexual abuse. And you don't talk about how many men come into your mom's home. You don't talk about the stuff that happens in your house. What goes on in this house stays in this house. That's, that's my mama talking. What goes on in this house stays in this house. And so I had never heard anybody talk real about things like that. And she talked about her behaviors, how, you know, she, she it was hard for her to have an identity around sex and men and what was happening around her. And she got pregnant when she was 14, which I didn't know. I thought, okay, this makes me kind of normal now. I got a chance. I'm not because when things happen, we feel alone and isolated. And the walls are closing in, and we don't feel like anybody understands them. We want them to understand, but they can't understand. Why don't they get me? Well, this was somebody who was talking to me about me. And so I watched that Oprah DVD collection maybe 50 times, and it's hours of film too. But I just soaked it in, and everything she said, she read. I read. And then I start studying successful people, highly successful people. I, I want to be successful. I got no backup plan. When things come to it, I'm going to have to pay for everything, my car, my, my rent, wherever I live. I got nobody to help me. You are on your own. And that adversity is an advantage. Because like I tell you, you wake up something within you that says, I want to survive. And for me, I want more than survive. I want to thrive. Because I have and greatness within me. Cause I'm tired.